Hey everybody, Matt here for Imagine Then Make. Well, I'm in front of the scroll saw once again, and in today's video, I'm going to make a new one of these. So this plate has two problems, in my opinion. The first one is that it bends or deflects very easily. It's just made of plastic. And the second problem is that real small pieces that you might cut for a project, like this is a triangular section cut from the corner of this board, these real small pieces can actually fall through.
So here's the plate that you saw me cut. It's got a notch on the left hand side so I know which way it goes in. This plate also has an extra slot cut in the right hand side to accommodate the blade when the table is tilted. There is no finish on this piece of wood yet anyway and it's just made from a, a small piece of plywood which you saw me sand down to the right thickness. So before I made this, I actually made this one. Same basic idea with a notch on the left, only there's just one hole in the middle. There's no extra slot in the right hand side. So it's intended to be used when the blade is 90 degrees to the table. Now the thing that I did do that was a little bit different from this one is that this one I glued on an extra piece of wood on the back to give it some extra stiffness and there's and it is stiff there's just no way I can snap this in half with my hands if I wanted to this one on the other hand I probably could snap in half like a cracker if I wanted to so going forward I may wind up gluing another piece of wood on the back of this one to give it some more rigidity, make it a little bit more robust. And then once that glue dries, recut this extra slot to accommodate the blade when the table's angled. But for right now, anyway, I have these two extra plates, which I'm hoping will be a significant improvement over the original.